Hello everyone, welcome again to UK and another bus sim video. In this video, I'm gonna give you some very basic hints and tips to get you started on your way to being a bus driver. In the recent live streams, been getting the same questions over and over again, which isn't a problem, but I thought I'd make this video just to answer a few of them in bulk. So let's get on with today's video. So the first question um, that I get asked a lot is, how do you do the round trip? So at the very start of the career, it asks you to do one of your routes in the round trip. So you go over to the drive settings and round trip isn't there. For some reason, they've changed the word round trip to ping pong. So all you need to do is come down um, to where it says ping pong um, and turn that on and that will achieve your round trip route. Next question I get is how to adjust the driver's seat in the seating position once you're inside the bus. Very easy, both on the PlayStation and the Xbox, it's exactly the same. Left on the D-pad um, and use the left analog to go over to controls menu, press A or the X, and there's one here called seat adjustment mode. Again, press A or X. Uh, and what you can do now is you can move the left analog to move it back and forwards, and the trigger buttons to move it up and down. Another popular question is the wipers. How do I turn the wipers on? Well, there's two ways of doing it. Um, the first way is to press left on that D-pad again, go back to the radial menu, um, and go back to the controls, and then up the top there, you've got wipers, and you can press that. Alternatively, um, again, on the PlayStation and the Xbox, you can go up on the D-pad, and all the wipers seem to be on the left-hand side stalk, so you can literally just press that with your X, and the windscreen wipers will work. You can also turn the force feedback down if you are using a steering wheel and you're finding it a little bit too high. You can go into the game settings, go to vibration strength and turn that down a little bit. I've put mine to 70. If you are getting frame rate drops either in the main game or especially in multiplayer, there is an option here to put the NPC car spawn limit down to low. I do recommend doing this, especially in multiplayer. It just means that your console has got to produce less AI cars and can concentrate on all your friends having a smooth experience in the game. Now some people have been telling me that they're having trouble assigning drivers to a route and the campaign isn't increasing. So I'm going to show you very, very briefly the exact steps that you need to do. I'm just going to set up a small route here uh, for four steps. Could be anything, but we're just going to do four steps of the business center. Um, so we're going to do a new route. We're going to click on that. Then we're going to click triangle um, for save. So now we've got the West Spoke, which is just four stops. And let's pretend the campaign has asked us to set them four stops up and assign a driver and a bus. So the first thing you need to do is go over to employees. Um, the employees on the left are the ones that you already hire. The ones on the right are the applications. So these are waiting to be hired by you. So we're just gonna hire anyone. So we just hire this first. Let's, let's hire Thomas, because I can pronounce his name properly. So you just click on Thomas to hire him. For that employee to be able to drive the route, you're gonna to need to buy them a spare bus. So you go across to the shop, um, and what I've been doing is, um, especially in the start of the game, is just buying all my drivers Sataro K. So we're just gonna buy a spare Sataro K. So once you've assigned your route, you've hired an employee, you've brought them a spare bus, it's time to go back to the route, and if you look at the very bottom of the screen, right on the D-pad to assign a driver. In this screen, you get a list of drivers. Now, if these drivers have a route number by them, that means that they're already taken up with a route, so they're not available for hire. So what you need to do is you need to scroll down to where we hired Thomas, he's got a dash by him. You just click X. That puts him up in the assigned drivers. You can assign way more than just one, but at this stage in the campaign, it's just asking you to do one driver at a time. Exactly the same for the buses. If the buses have got a route number by them, that means that they're assigned to that person and that route. So we need to scroll all the way down to one that's got a dash, that means it's available. Click the Sitar OK. That puts it back up into the route name. Press circle to come out of there. Now all you need to do now is drive the route in the normal fashion. And the idea behind that is the fact that you've got to drive the route for the very first time to show your driver, to set an example, how to do the route. Once you've completed the route, then that campaign aspect asking you to hire a driver should move on. So that is exactly how to hire a driver, buy a bus, and set up a route with a paid driver. 
Another question I get a lot is sandbox mode. How can I access it? How does it work? What are the requirements? Well, the requirements are you have to be level eight in the main campaign. That's it. Once you hit level eight, then you can unlock it. To unlock it or to find it, you have to go back to the main screen. It's not sort of included in your campaign. You go back to the main screen and we can set up a new company. That's how it's done. You set up a new company, totally separate to your campaign save. So we choose new company and in there you can call it whatever you want. And you'll notice this option here, sandbox is off or on and that is as simple as it is and you can go into that company and you can have the whole game unlocked you can buy as many buses as you want you can experiment with the whole map unlocked and just enjoy it for what it is another question I get a lot is how can I join a friend's game so my friend has given me the lobby name and the password but how can I find it well the first thing you do is come out of your save and go back to the main screen from there over on the left there you'll see server browser if you go into server browser your friend would have already given you his lobby name and the password so you will need that information straight away but once you go into the server browser I, I'm sure some um, new features are going to come to this like a search facility but at the moment if your friend isn't listed there all you do is press square to refresh it it doesn't refresh that page it gives you another page and it will just keep going through the pages until you find your friend's lobby name and you can enter that and put the password in then you'll be in his company so there you go, just a few hints and tips to help you on your way as you start your journey as a bus driver. Any more hints or tips required, please leave it in the comments section below and you know, I'll answer all my comments. So have a lovely day and I will see you in the next one.